Y'all, it's out. The Hunter video is out. Go watch it now. Oh my gosh. I would play the audio, but it's not my video. It's Remnant's uh, Gunfire Games video. So, but I'm going to cover it. We're going to cover it right now. I just watched it. Holy crap. It looks awesome. This is definitely going to be for people who are looking to hit those precision kills, who are going to go from a distance, who are going to just like come in and do damage and reveal enemies. It honestly looks like it's going to be great in a team um, setting as well with some of its uh, some of its abilities and perks. And I'm not, I'm just going to say this. This honestly looks freaking awesome. Like, let's kick it off right now with the prime perk that they released with it. Dead to rights, dealing 55 base range damage, weak spot damage extends the duration, deal 55 base range, weak spot damage, and it's going to extend the duration of active hunter skills by three and a half seconds, and it can extend their timer beyond its initial uh, duration. Like, that is awesome. You can see it. You can see it growing right now on what it's doing uh, via its weak spot damage. So this is literally tied to precision aiming too, y'all. So it's not just about like going from a distance as it is also landing your shots, which I think is great. It also has this perk right here. It's going to be called uh, 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 Mark, which is going to have, I'm so excited. It just came out, y'all. I'm trying to make a video. I've watched it like twice. I can't wait for this game. Uh, crit hit chance. Crit chance against mark enemies is going to increase by 15% for all allies. This is great, right? So you're going to like, like, it looks like you scream to the heavens and you're going to reveal all the enemies within the map for you and your team, which is going to increase that crit chance. So you can already see, depending on uh, who you have with you, you could actually design a really cool crit build uh, based around even having a hunter with you or even combining that archetype because remember you can combine both archetypes so whoo uh you also have hunter's mark which is going to increases the hunter's spatial awareness by casting an aurora that automatically applies mark to all enemies within 35 meters that's got a great distance while senses are heightened hunter will also gain 15 percent increased range and melee damage this will last 25 seconds this goes right back to Mark too. Again, crit chances against marked enemies is increased by 15% for all allies. So this is another ability that will mark enemies within the 35 meter. Awesome. Again, he like screams out your eyes. Look at the design, y'all. Like there's so much stuff here I just love. Like look at this. Look at the attention to detail that they put on the eyes on, on you when you go full marked. And not even that, but this level mm, looks awesome. Like the wait for this is just killing me now. But I love this. I love how it marks all those levels look amazing, to be perfectly honest. Um, all the level design looks so good. Uh yeah, we have Hunter's Focus as the next one. I'm I'm all over the place. Forgive. Uh heightens the hunter's senses, which is gonna cause which causes aiming at an enemy for 0.1 seconds to apply mark. So essentially aiming at an enemy is going to auto mark that enemy. Continuously aiming down sights interrupted and without shooting for a second is going to cause the hunter to enter a focus state. So not only are you now going to mark the enemy, which is going to cause that enemy to have 15% bonus crit hit chance, you will now also enter a focus state, which is going to reduce your weapon spread, recoil, and sway by 75% and grant a 25% range and range weak spot damage and a 10% range crit chance. So if I'm reading this right, y'all, focus state can last up to 10 seconds after the skill duration expires, okay? So you've zoomed in, you've marked an enemy for 15% uh, increased chance for all your allies. You now gain a 10% range inc increased chance and you're gaining a 25% range weak spot damage. That bullet is going to smack somebody upside the face. And you are gonna feel awesome doing it. And again, they pop your eyes. These little, these little spark, these little art, uh, artif art. I was gonna call them artifacts. Uh, effect coming out of the eyes. The particle system is so cool. Oh my gosh, this is just so cool. Some of these uh, bosses too, as well. They're showing off in here. I think they showed before. It just looks great. We also have Hunter Shroud. Hunter is gonna become shrouded. It's gonna reduce enemy awareness and make them harder to hit. I'm looking up, by the way, to read this. Y'all, I guess I could look right here. Um, and making them harder to hit while moving, attacking, or activating a mod or skill will instantly exit Shroud. So it sounds like Shroud is gonna be like sort of like a, uh, a get out of jail free card. But however, 
exiting shroud will apply mark to all enemies within 10 meters and grant ambush to the hunter for two seconds. So ambush is going to increase your range and melee damage by 50%, which diminishes over its duration. Range and melee attacks apply mark. You can really see how this, this entire class is being built around mark. It's being built around picking out your enemies, increasing the crit hit chance, buffing weak shot damage, and smacking enemies with from a, uh, with precision hits, right? Which totally makes sense for this class. So it literally looks like maybe it's going to have a high skill ceiling with a really high damage output. If you can nail these shots, then you're really going to get a ton out of this class, which I could imagine will end up dealing like a ton of, uh, a ton of DPS. So that's just icing on cake right for people who who were hoping for something to come out of out of this uh out of this class and then your long shot is going to be the archetype trait that's going to come out of this which is really cool it increases the w weapon range bonus on all of your weapons increases weapon ideal range by 0.6 meters you can go up to plus 600 and you can see him switching right there on assault rifles bows shotguns beams so you are not tied to just sniper you're going to be able to get all sorts of bonuses out of this what a great video i am so happy it is out go check out remnant 2's channel to watch the full thing and hear tragic talk about it y'all four days if you haven't like subscribe I'm going to keep making videos. Thank you all so much.